Most of these girls are already defeated before they get inside the octagon with Amanda. They're already mentally done. And I am not afraid of Amanda Nunes. And I've made that clear. I definitely think that people have been sleeping on me and they have not been putting any respect on my name. They haven't been um, giving me as much credit as I feel like I deserve. You know, whenever the commentators talk about, you know, Amanda Nunes, they'll say everybody else's name but mine. Uh, and I mean, they can't even spell my name right. They don't ever put the Atilda over the N, you know? So those, there's little things where I'm like, man, that's, can I get some respect? <laughs> So Juliana Pena is a savage. She has got a definite mean streak. But she's just playing the drums on her face right now. This is nasty. Stylistically, I am the worst matchup for Amanda. Um, I have an unwavering amount of faith in God. I'm a warrior for God. And, and I think that that um, belief that, you know, no matter what, if, if God is for me, who could be against me? That's a type of mentality that I've had. Win, lose, or draw. And again, if you get a belt at the end of the night, that's cute. But the most important thing is that I'm a warrior for God and I want to be, you know, um, doing what I feel is God's work. I get asked all the time, how did you become a fighter and why did you decide to start fighting? I didn't. Fighting found me. I swear. Fighting found me. I didn't go out looking for this. I didn't even know what an MMA fight was. I didn't surely know what the UFC was. Fighting fell into my lap and this is what my purpose is. This is God's will. This is the path that he has designed for my life. So putting all my faith in God uh, definitely helped me become confident, helped me um, realize that, you know, I am a champion. And as long as I kept my champion mindset that I was going to get that championship belt around my waist, it was just a matter of time. And I think that that unwavering amount of faith that I have in myself all stems from my, my relationship with God. She's a fighter that doesn't do well when fighting against adversity. When she's the bully and when she's the pressure, she's great. Girls fold, they crumple. But when she is um, the when she is being bullied and when she is being pressured, that's what she can't handle. And that's what I knew was the case. And you saw that when she, um, you know, was in the, was fighting Kat Zingano, you know, she, Kat Zingano broke her. And we saw that, you know, she's been, I think maybe an Invicta, I saw somebody else break her too. She's had losses, you know? So those types of scenarios, um, I knew still, um, existed in her and it just needed a chance to break through and rear its ugly head and the only way to do that is to to make somebody tired to get them to work to make them work and make them fight no i got nothing to prove everybody was sleeping on me and i i, I uh, shook up the world and, and i did what i said that i was going to do but at the end of the day i'm not surprised you know i know that i have a big huge will and determination and and i've been saying it all week long the world is your oyster you can literally do anything that you want in this life you have the ability to do anything that you want in this life i've been through the wash i have literally been through the wash i have done it all i'm talking torn everything that you can possibly think of ran over by cars hit by dudes in the alleys you know i've, I've done it all nothing was going to stop me from getting this belt this has been 13 years grinding and uh it's finally come to fruition and it, it's my time seems like it was my time. There were so many signs leading up to this moment. There were so many times in my life, uh, not only signs, but dreams, dreams of myself and dreams of others. And uh, I'm, I'm really uh, weirdly into that kind of stuff, a spiritual thing. I, I, I have a very strong faith in God, and that is something that kept me strong mentally, physically, and emotionally to get to this point, especially having to go through another fight camp. And uh, I just really think that you know, it's a surreal moment, but it's absolutely my time. And, and I knew, I'm not surprised. I'm not, I'm really not. I, I literally tell him all the time, I want that fight. I want that fight. Give me that fight. And I think maybe subconsciously he was just trying to protect me. Like, no, you don't want that fight. You know, he's trying to be like, trust me, you don't want that fight. But I've been gunning for it this entire time. And he finally gave me the opportunity, the opportunity that I've been asking for. And uh, I'm just in internally grateful for him giving me that chance. He, he gave me my shot and I'm, I'm so happy for that. Taking a fight camp for three months is almost like a, a detriment. If somebody breathes next to me after month one, I'm ready to strangle them right there. So having it be three weeks only didn't give me any time to think too much, didn't give me time to jump down anyone's throat, didn't give me time to cut anyone's head off. It was a perfect amount of time for me to, to get back in there. It felt great. Just to calm my nerves and to just be, try to be relaxed and uh, 
let yourself be in the moment. Don't let the be moment be bigger than you. And that's something that I've been working on. And uh, I think it definitely showed in my preparation up to the fight, you know, in that back room when you're getting your hands taped, when you're getting ready to go out there. That's the scariest moment of the fight. That's the true fight. That's the fight where you're fighting yourself and you're like, Am I crazy or what? I can't believe I do this for a living, you know? And that's the part where you need to be the most calm. And for me, it was so perfect back there. It just felt like home. I told you, don't ever doubt me again. Willpower, strength, and determination. It will take you places.